Hey, what's up YouTube? Rico here from Rock Cuts and Shots. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing from the Handy Dandy Mystery Box. The Practica LV2. Alright, uh, today we'll be talking about the uh, German-made Practica LV2. So this camera, I actually have really high hopes for. Uh, it was really easy to use. Uh, the lenses are screw mount lenses. So this one in particular came with a 135 millimeter 2.8 aperture. So because these are screw made lenses, uh, this camera, all you have to do is just screw the lens on and then it's on there. It came with two lenses. Uh, the 50 millimeter and the 135. So these lenses are really easy to find and they're cheap. And when they made this camera, that was the intent, was to get a lens that was uh, cheaply made so that you can find it and you won't break uh, the bank trying to get more lenses, more primes. So uh, lenses are standard. They have the aperture setting here. They have your uh, focusing ring here, then it is a mirror SLR and this one is actually in really good condition for its age. You can see there it has this mirror and everything inside it was really clean when I got it. So the owner took really good care of this. Um, just had a little bit of dust on the top but you know that's expected when it sits on a shelf. So for this particular camera the shutter is on the front. Uh, this is a lot easier to grip and to press down, uh, which I think was a really cool idea for them to go with that. Uh, a lot of these are found in Austria. Um, I've seen these a couple in a couple of flea markets uh, in Europe and uh, did not think to get one until I actually saw this in the mystery box that I purchased from somebody. Uh, of course, you know, the film release here, pull up here opens here. Now, this is another interesting feature. Uh, the shutters are actually like a very lightweight aluminum uh, instead of the normal curtain that you normally see in these older cameras, which a cloth curtain um, is a lot more vulnerable to uh, be damaged than uh, these little metal uh, type of shutters. Another interesting fact about this is it has these little pins. So this one took me a minute to load once I flipped this around, I re realized that there was a catch to it. And what you need to do is you actually need to load the film in through there at least once. And then once you flip that over, it grabs the back of the film and flips it down and allows you to catch on the first one. Then you close it, the pressure plate keeps it in place and you give it one, two, three, and now you are on count number one, right there. Another cool thing about this camera is that it has no batteries. This light sensor right here, once it's cleaned off, allows you to do a little bit of a light meter test. So over here, you select your ASA, so the speed of your film, and then you were able to move that little device there. It also goes by DIN, uh, which is the European regiment for your ISO. And then this little device here, once you start moving this around, there's a little toggle that goes next to a circle. I don't know if you can see that. But if that little uh, toggle, that little line, goes where the circle is, that's the recommended shutter speed that you should be at. So for in this particular case, if I'm facing the camera in this direction, and I'm inside my house, it's a little bright. I move this over and it looks like my best speed is gonna be about 500 to 1,000. So, move my little shutter speed here, anywhere from 500 to 1,000, and now I'm able to take my picture. And I should get a good light metering there. Uh, I didn't trust this at first, so I ended up using my handy dandy uh, Voigtlander 2 light meter. So it was a cold shoe attach, 
just goes up on the top and I was able to take most of my pictures uh, through there. So the film is still being developed. Um, I got it drawing actually, so I can't wait to see the results. Overall, I really like the practicality of this camera. I like the way it feels as a very sturdy aluminum metal frame. And then the plastic feels like it's high grade as I feel like it's gonna break in my fingers uh, by holding it too, too hard or anything like that. Uh, the actual wind up button and trigger here feel really solid and it was really quick and easy to use. Uh, it has an attachment for a flash uh, for the hot shoe flash that goes up here and it has a little toggle here that allows you to use that. So you can use a hot shoe flash. Uh, and then of course, last thing is uh, mount for your tripod and that's it next up pictures from the LB